Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to ACS Sneakers. My name is Aiden. On today's video, we are actually going to be taking a look back in time. Great Scott. That's right, you guessed it. If you couldn't already tell from the title of this video, on today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Air Max 3 in the Radiant Red colorway. Before we get into that, as always, I just want to say a huge thank you to my returning viewers. Thank you as always for supporting me and the channel. And to any new viewers, welcome to the channel. We do release brand new sneaker content just like this each and every week. So do make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the intro. Officially releasing in 1990, today we are taking a look at the latest iteration of the Air Max 3 or the Air Max 90 model, depending on what you decide to call it. We are going to be taking a deep dive into this shoe and I'm going to tell you exactly why I think this is the best shoe of all time. Now the shoe actually released on November 28th of 2020 for a retail price of £130. Unfortunately at the time I wasn't able to cop my size but fortunately enough for me it does look like a lot of people actually returned their purrs because when it did restock on size I was able to grab a personal purr for myself and without any further ado if we go ahead and just jump straight into the box. And here we go guys, I now have the box in hand and first things first, I'm really not a big fan of the fact that they've actually taped up the box. I personally like to keep all my boxes in tip top condition and the fact that this has been taped, as you can see, really was quite annoying for me personally. It almost felt like I was having a game of operation trying to actually open the box for the first time which was, as I say, just a little bit annoying. Also the box did come a little bit beat up, I'm not sure if you can actually see this on the back of the box but there is a few rips and there is also a pretty significant dent on the side as well. So I'm not sure if they were kicking it around like Ace Ventura. We're going down Moving on to a more positive note, I do actually like the fact that they've gone with the OG box. Um, I really wasn't expecting it because I decided not to watch any reviews on it because of the fact that I wasn't able to grab my size. So seeing this in hand for the first time really did actually, you know, come as a really nice surprise to be completely honest. Across the top, we do have this really nice red with the Nike Air branding. If we just go ahead and take a look at the label, which reads Air Max 3 in the white, black, cool gray colorway. Now, I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell because it is really small, but the, uh, the actual size label is on that side. And if we just open up the box itself, on the actual front of the box, we do actually have some pretty cool text. Now, the text actually reads, Nike sports shoes are manufactured to the exact specification of champion athletes throughout the world. And I do believe that there is actually the French version as well, just underneath. So if we now just go ahead and get straight into the shoe. And here we go guys, I now finally have the shoe in hand. So let's get straight into the review, starting from the toes up. Around the toe box itself, we do have this really nice light gray synthetic suede. And the toe box itself has been comprised using this white nylon mesh material. Now, just as far as the actual quality goes, the mesh in my opinion is of a very good quality and really nice in comparison to some of the other 90s that I've had recently. Now, the only issue I've actually found with the actual suede is the fact that as soon as I actually put these on feet, it's creasing up really easily. I'm not sure if you can actually see that on the actual camera itself, but just here around the actual suede part, it's already kind of got a little bit of a creasing. Not a massive issue because to be completely honest, this is probably one of the only shoes in my collection where I feel creases actually add value. A lot of the time when it comes to like leather materials, I really can't stand it and I honestly won't wear a shoe if it's creased up. But with this one, I definitely feel like it adds character and it just reminds me of the pair that I had when I was a kid. So on this occasion, it's not really that much of an issue. And just to quickly touch on the hang tag itself, personally, I don't actually like to wear the hang tags on my shoe. Once I actually wear these for the very first time, I'll definitely be taking this off and storing it away. But let me know in the comment section below whether you actually wear hang tags with your shoe. Personally, I'm not really a big fan of this, you know, wobbling and whacking off the shoe when I'm wearing it, if I'm just being completely honest. And then just continuing further about the shoe itself on both the lateral and medial side of the shoe we do have this really nice black leather which runs right the way throughout incorporated into the leather material we do have this tpu Ermax in this radiant red color which really does accent the actual uppers of the shoe which i personally am a big fan of also on both the lateral and medial side we do have this slightly darker gray synthetic suede nike swoosh 
And even though it is synthetic suede, it feels pretty nice in the hand and it feels like it's a pretty decent quality in my personal opinion. And then moving down the shoe itself, here we have this primarily white midsole and around the air unit, we do have this radiant red hit. Switching then to the outsole of the shoe, we do have a primarily black outsole. And if we now just move back up the shoe, here we have a complete set of flat white laces. The laces themselves sit atop this white nylon tongue. And to be honest, I do only have three Air Max 90s in my collection at the minute, but this is my favourite tongue of the three. Really well padded, really plush, and I'm a big fan of the overall aesthetic look of the tongue. In the centre of the tongue itself, we do actually have that radiant red hit on the Nike Air branding. Now the laces are fed through these TPU eye stays and to be honest I'm a really big fan of that. It just reminds me of the original pair that I had when I was a kid and I think altogether the colour blocking on this shoe is just exceptional and to be honest this is probably the best shoe that I've ever owned. Not necessarily in terms of quality but just in terms of things like nostalgia, the fact that it's probably the easiest shoe to wear with most outfits and it just takes me back to when I was a kid. This for me is probably the best shoe of all time. I'm a, a huge fan of the Air Max 90 model in general. I always have been, I always will be. There is just something about this colorway that drives everybody insane and that includes me as well. Like I say, I remember having this pair when I was a kid and it just takes me back to when I was younger and you know, the thought of actually having this shoe again, I was just, it's just something I couldn't pass up and I'm just really glad to finally have it back in my collection. This for me is easily Air Max of the year and if I was able to do my top five pickups for 2020 over again, this will definitely be included. I'm not sure where it would actually fall in terms of the actual rating, but this has to be included in everybody's top five who actually picked up this shoe. It's just absolutely incredible. And then just continuing further back the shoe around the ankle collar, we do see the continuance of that white nylon mesh material. And around the sock liner, we do have this really nice gray color, which I personally do think offsets it really well. I think the overall color balance is impeccable and it couldn't be any better in my personal opinion. And one day, hopefully I will actually be able to put some of my own touches on this particular colorway, whether it's just, you know, at home customizations or maybe one day I might get a deal with Nike to actually create my own. Uh, this would definitely be the model that I would actually want to work on and the infrared color would definitely be my inspiration. And just to quickly touch on sizing, personally, I always go true to size with the Air Max 90 as I feel that that's the best reflection on me personally. If you do have a chance to try out an Air Max 90 model before buying, I would highly recommend you do so just so you can understand the best fit for you. Once again, as I mentioned in the previous video, if you are from the UK and you are in this tier situation like I am, unfortunately, you might not be able to try out a pair at your local retailer. So in that situation, I personally would recommend that you do go true to size. So if we now go ahead and take a look at the insole itself, we do have this primarily radiant red color with the white Nike Air branding. On the reverse of the insole itself, we do have the Nike Air traction, which I thought was a really nice and subtle detail. And then just switching to the heel of the shoe, we do see that TPU material once again with the Nike Air branding. Once again, I'm a huge fan of the overall layout of the heel. And there's just something about you know, the Nike Air on the back. I think I'm kind of getting lost in the shoe itself. And that, I feel like that's probably the, the biggest compliment I can give this shoe. We've done quite a lot of reviews on this channel. And there's very few times where I've actually looked at a shoe and been blown away um the materials aren't you know out of this world but it's it's just the nostalgia of the shoe that's really carrying me at this point now that just about wraps up the overview of the shoe itself so now let's go ahead and get into my opinions on the shoe and just to sum up in terms of my overall opinion on the shoe itself as you can tell just from me absolutely going crazy on this shoe right the way throughout the review this for me is an incredible shoe and i'm going to give it an incredible score so i'm actually going to give the air max 90 in the radiant red colorway a 11 out of 10 it's my review, so I can give it whatever rating I want, and I know that doesn't make much sense, but there's not much better than you can actually get than this shoe, in my opinion. The materials and all of those things that actually are used to construct the shoe aren't worthy of that score, but just the nostalgia surrounding the shoe, just how I feel about the shoe, it's an 11 out of 10, it's a 12 out of 10, it's just unbelievable i'm so glad to finally have it but i'd also love to know what you guys think as well so do make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing to my youtube channel hitting that bell notification and i hope to see you guys again in the next one